What's good? What's good? It's your boy DJ Creed back with another video. I'm tired of Diddy, y'all. But I know y'all want to hear some Diddy stories. Like go through the little Diddy Diddies. All all the little stories are coming out now. Yeah, he gets being sued by other people. But this is just gonna be a Diddy marathon. Because I ain't got time to cover every single story that come out every five minutes. I got a life. You know what I'm saying? So we just gonna go through these. We're gonna laugh at some of these and we're gonna touch on some stories. But I ain't got time for Diddy all day, y'all. Here we go. I like the slippery soap. I you. Yo, I actually washed the car because I'm supporting my brother. I'm not just buying slippery soap. I'm actually using it myself. So yo, just just stay tuned to see Diddy and Rose wash the car. You never and know Diddy, who, who, and who, Diddy who, got on Carisha roof of the truck. <laughs> He made it happen. I'm proud of you. Only for slippery soap. That's right. Let's go. For real. <laughs> I'm proud of my brother. For real. I was saying like how he had the car show. He pulled up on me. He pulled it off. And um, I got to use his products. And I, we was like, you know, let's have a, you know, an act of love. Because washing the car. Most of the time, wash the car. Not no a, lot, a lot of cats got ego. How got times you feel like you too big for Yeah, that. they got Maybe shame in their game. We don't have no shame in our game. We're going to get to this money. We're going to wash the car. We're going to go door to door. Ain't nothing stopping this. Ain't nothing stopping this. We want it all. Like the slippery soap. All right. Slippery soap. Yeah. Oh, my God. Everything that Diddy does has a little bit of innuendo in it. It's like he can't go. He can't help himself. He's so conceited. He can't help himself. Come on. Let's, we're going to go to the next one. Joke I have? Ready? Okay, this is good. See if you like it. Right. A lot of multiple nominees, multiple Grammy nominees this year. Lauren Hill's got four. TLC's got eight. And Sean Combs, five to ten. <laughs> 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 Dad, I feel like he's going to jail. Right. All right. And I was going to say this. I was going to go, look. Look, look. I was going to go. I don't mean to be mean because, I mean, he's a nice guy and he can really sing, sing. Oops. Oh. Sing, sing. Oh. Joke. Yo. People been on Diddy case. I can't believe all these videos, bruh. Like, every one of these videos got something crazy about him. Here we go. I want to hear my shit in the yard. You hear me? You in charge. I want to hear you say that. Say it. I'm in charge. You my partner. I know. Say I'm in charge. I'm in charge. <laughs> I can't, bro. Like, I don't know what's going on with this. Just it, the internet has been firebombed with Diddy. Larry is a former federal prisoner himself who served time at 11 institutions across five states and is founder and director of Wall Street Prison Consultants. He advises people who are about to face the same plight. And he joins me now live. OK, Larry, spill the tea. What are you hearing about uh, Diddy's eating? Well, I got an inside source there at MDC, and if they knew who it was, it really plots. He you know, when people go into custody, they have anxiety, they're depressed, a lot of things go through their mind. And one of the things they do is they stop eating. They lose a lot of weight. Look at somebody coming out of prison. They look like a POW or something, but they've been through the ringer. Now, there's a collateral issue that may be here. Look what happened to Jeff Epstein. I got people every day saying, do you think they're going to Epstein him? And I go, well, I really don't know. But they can't have this guy do a suicide. It would look kind of funny. Now, imagine if somebody got to one of the correctional officers, and this could happen. They don't make a lot of money. And there's people out there that he has things on that do have a substantial amount of money. Imagine if someone paid someone off on the inside to actually poison his food, give him a heart attack, and he dies. And no one would really think anything of it. So that may be one of the reasons he's not eating. 
He's really, really paranoid. He's really, really scared. He doesn't know what to think. He doesn't know who to trust or what to believe. Then he had a religious visit also and a dietician come talk to him. Now, there's a possibility that he wants to go on a kosher diet. It's prepared a little bit differently. It's like it's a religious diet. That could be another aspect as well. But I remember when I first went into custody at MDC Los Angeles, and I didn't eat for a couple of days, but this guy's been there about a week now. So he should be in a routine. And there's just so much, Ashley, there is so much disinformation that comes out. Like he has to get up at six o'clock to make his bed and mop his cell. That's for a regular housing unit at MDC. He's not getting out of the shoe. He doesn't have to make his bed, really. He's probably laying in bed all day long, just stewing and thinking. So the situation and the conditions for him are completely different. Than okay, it, this guy just, is just talking. He's happy to be on TV because <laughs> he ain't said nothing. <laughs> But uh, at the end of the day, some of this probably is true. Some of this probably is true. You know, Diddy probably don't want to eat, don't want to talk, don't want to be around uh, certain people, only family, because, you know, family ain't going to turn on him. But that's his fault, man. I, 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 You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. What are your thoughts? I mean, this Diddy shit's getting crazy. There's been the uh, old Kanye text going viral, calling him a fed. What I think is crazy is the potential of Kid Cudi having to testify. <laughs> because because who's, I mean, that's the car that got set on fire. Right. And he's already concurred with the incident. And, I mean, also. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. In your opinion, and I'm asking you because you're in hip hop, you're in the hood. But you obviously can have the opinion of someone non-African American, right? Okay. Would you consider if Kid Cudi testified against Diddy snitching? I'd like to revert back to my good friend Glasses Malone's definition of snitching. Okay. Kid Cudi is a civilian. That's why. That's why I want to hear this from you. And so, Kid and, Cudi. And mind you, let me say this to you. Kid Cudi has never really ever. I mean, obviously, he's I'm not he saying got I, angry, but he's never right. portrayed himself as a street as guy. A street guy, and I'm not All saying right, that continue. he isn't because I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't no, know. No, no, no. Yeah. But at least in the public, right? Right. Okay, fair enough. He also was not a conspirator in crime with Diddy, so he would not be then telling on someone to get out of doing jail time himself. He would be telling on someone based on being a victim. Jesus. What are your thoughts? I mean, this That's Diddy crazy. shit's getting crazy. Now, I will say this. Uh, they're absolutely right. He's absolutely right. Um, Kid Cudi probably will testify. We know Kid Cudi and um, Cassie are the strongest two that were affected by that back in the day. Um, you know, there are other people who probably will be forced to testify, but we know Kid Cudi and Cassie definitely will take the stand and will say their piece because Diddy was absolutely wrong. You know, when you we have a scene like this, you got to bring bosses, which, as you see, is female friendly. We got a ladies and a female. She's butt ball. Uh, that's what I call it, raw dog. Uh, I might jump. I might jump a tub myself. Uh, you know, once once everybody gets out, you know, it's just me and the lady. This is my scene. I'm used to this type of thing. Uh, you know, doing what I do best. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, did the camera catch that? Got the camera! Got the camera! You know. Kevin Hart is a fool, man. Again, at the freak off, you a hey, you never know what happened at the freak off. Thank 
kids have like an hour left. So get extra comfortable, kids, because after that, y'all got to go. It's a wrap for y'all, because this thing turns into something that when y'all get older, y'all don't want to come to. Okay? So, you know, let's just start to get our groove on a little bit. Then an hour, we put the kids away. It's all good. All right, DJ, let's hit it. Let's do it. Uh, this dude is so weird. <laughs> Here we go. And cases of the kinds of personal lubricant and baby oil that Combs' staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms for the freak offs. More than 1,000 bottles altogether. God damn. This motherfucker had more lube than they got at Costco. I mean, <laughs> what the hell? A thousand bottles of baby oil. He like his ass is well greased, glistening in the moonlight. This nigga's ass is ashy. I don't want, I, there's no ashy booties in, in the puppy party. Grease this nigga down, oil him down, and rinse it off. He's got little chocolate chips and cuckoo birds. Yeah, clean, clean <laughs> that nigga up and grease him. I got a thousand bottles. Grease him. Matter of fact, fill the whole bathtub up with baby oil and dip him. And no ashy cheats in that crib. They was dipped. In, in hot baby oil. Well, I wonder, where's Jiggy? Anybody seen Jiggy? Anybody seen him? He didn't move quick enough. Now, Russell, <coughs> Russell got the hell out. That nigga is on an island somewhere, just doing something. The Diggler, he ain't gonna make it, y'all. Here is my prediction. I predicted that he was going to jail before they took him. But anyway, he ain't gonna live. I, I, I'd be surprised if he lived past the end of, of September. Cause he is a dead man walking. Every every record label motherfucking executive and the motherfuckers in Black Rock or whatever the fucking corporation that is, they got money offering. First motherfucker to kill that some is a hundred million dollars to your favorite family member's bank account, offshore, yeah. overseas, yeah. untraceable, six banks that way. Yeah. This nigga ain't gonna make it. And it's gonna be the end of the story because we all waiting on the other names involved. You ain't gonna hear them. I agree. I agree. Can't Eddie Griffin said it well enough. But um look, that's just some of my little ditty compilations because I'm not gonna see here and cover hella stories and all these videos. Like y'all know what's up with Diddy. If it's something pertaining to Diddy that's very important, if somebody come out, somebody big come out, I'm gonna cover it. But till then, y'all know what's happening with this Diddy stuff. Because there's news dropping every five minutes. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Man, I got more content on the way. Peace.